and today we're taking a look at how to install a Wi-Fi thermostat with or without a C wire. So you notice your thermostat has been around the block for a few years and it's time to give it a much needed upgrade. In this case, we're going to use the Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostat, but the steps that we're going to take today will work for any brand. And in today's installation, we're going to show how to connect it with or without a C wire. And this is what we get in the box. We have the manual, the screws and anchors and the thermostat. We're going to need a set of screwdrivers or a drill. And if you don't have a C wire, we're going to use a C wire adapter, which is going to give us a C wire and a RC wire. So basically what this does is provide us with 24 volts of current energy that will be used for the thermostat. But if you already have a C wire in your system, this adapter won't be necessary. I'm going to leave a link for the adapter, the thermostat and other Wi-Fi thermostat in the description if you're interested. Now let's go ahead and start the installation. Remember that safety is the number one thing. So the first thing we want to do is turn off the breaker that gives electricity to the thermostat. Now we could go ahead and start removing the old thermostat. And now finally, after 20 years, he can get his well-deserved retirement at the recycling center. Now that we have removed the first cap, we're going to locate the screws to remove the second cap. We proceed on removing the screws. In this case, there are three. And now that we removed that other layer, now we have access to the wiring. And here on this system, we only have four wires that are used. We have the R wire, the W wire, the G wire and the Y wire. Most Wi-Fi thermostats use five wires and that's why the fifth C wire is needed. Let's go ahead and take a picture of the wires in case we need to look back to verify where each wire goes. Now let's go ahead and label each wire with the corresponding letter. You can use paper or tape or if your system came with stickers with labels, you can use those as well. Now we can proceed to remove the screws that hold the wires in. Now we're ready to remove the final casing. In this case, we only have to remove the two final screws. If in your case, you have paint around the casing, it'd be best to take a blade and cut all around to make sure that the paint doesn't come out with your thermostat and then have a bigger paint job than the one you might require. Let's go ahead and group the wires together so we could take out the last layer. And if you notice that your wires don't hold up by themselves, you can always wrap a pencil with a rubber band so they won't go in back in the hole. In our case, they're very stiff, so we won't need to do that. Now let's go ahead and bring the wiring housing for the new thermostat. And if you have a level, you can use the level to level your new thermostat. You can eyeball it or you can set it however you want. At the end of the day, you're the king of your castle. Now that we have our housing level, we can go ahead and place the two screws that hold it in place. If your wires are not straight, this would be the perfect time to straighten them. If in your case, you only have four wires, you can verify if you have more wires by checking inside the hole. Sometimes other wires that are not being used are left in the inside for future use. And that was our case in this system. Now let's go ahead and place each wire according to the letter of its location. And we do that by loosening the screw on the bottom, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. So we can go ahead and insert the wire inside. Once inside, we can go ahead and tighten it and check that it is snug. As you can tell, even though our old thermostat was not using a C wire, we did have four extra wires behind the wall. And in those wires was the C wire. But let's say you don't have a C wire, you can use an adapter. The only difference is that it will need to be connected to an outlet. And the best way to hide the cable is throwing it inside the wall. And we're going to use the old method of string and nut. And what we do is we throw the nut with the string through the hole let it drop all the way to the floor and then with a drill we make a hole at the bottom and with a magnet we pull the nut out you can also use your fingers but the magnet is a lot faster being the king of your castle you could just have the wire going through the outside and remember that how big you want the hole it all depends on the nut that you're using now let's go ahead and tie the wire to the nut and bring this bad boy up to its final home you can also remove the baseboard make the hole there and place the baseboard back now that you have a hole 
hole in your wall that wasn't there before, you're gonna need some plaster to cover that up or some dollar store white cement. Now, once we've done that, now we could go ahead and label each wire. And according to the manual, it doesn't matter which is which. The only thing you have to make sure is that you connect one wire to the C and another wire to the RC. And if you're using this method now, you're not gonna need the jumper. The jumper is used when you have the R but not the RC. If you have both R and RC cables, you don't need the jumper. You can always verify with your manual to check for your particular system. Now we could go ahead and turn on the breaker so we could turn this bad boy on. And remember, if you're using the adapter, you wanna connect it to an outlet. Let's go ahead and place the information sheet behind the thermostat and connect the thermostat to the wire housing. Now you could pat yourself in the back for a job well done. We can now set the time and date, follow the instructions on the pad and test our system. And if everything's working fine, now we could download the app for our particular system. In our case is the Total Connect Comfort from Honeywell, which is free in the Play Store or the Apple Store. If you don't have an account already, you can create an account at the Honeywell page or the web page for your particular system. And now that you're logged in and ready to go you can control the temperature from your phone or computer on the go or right at home and also remember that you can also control it manually in case you don't have internet don't forget if you like the video give us a thumbs up that really helps if you have any questions place them in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe follow us on social media thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video